knows it sucks, but I don't know, there's so much to be proud of. Um, be proud that we were here in this game. Like, she was just being the same happy to be able to be in that position right now, and even though that we lost. Um, and then she kind of just thanked each senior individually, and that's pretty much it. I know the emotions are pretty raw, but are you able to sit here and kind of think about all the things this team accomplished? I mean, the last two years have been incredible. Yeah, I think that's kind of where the emotion comes from a little bit, too. Just right. thinking of, like, all we've done together, like, from the Kinnick game until now. Like, we've gotten to be the first to do stuff, to do things at the University of Iowa. We've made history together here. And just, like, there's so many things that we've done, made memories on and off the court together. And I, I think that's just kind of where the tears are coming from, just thinking about all that. And how it's just, like, coming to an end. Obviously, I'll still see them tomorrow. But <laughs> the basketball aspect of it has come to an end. Um, so yeah, it's a little sad right now. When, did you, when that start happened, like, what was that like, just to, like, throw a punch at them, yeah. you know, yeah, I think the heavyweight? We were up for that game, we were excited, we were ready. Um, we kept telling each other, just play free, play loose. We have nothing to lose. Like, I don't know, just go do what you do out there and do it to the best of your ability. And I think that's why we started off so hot. What's good? I mean, just watch playing one more time with Caitlin and Kate, especially you three. Um, what did that mean to you just to be able to do it in the last game? the whole season. Yeah, I think, you know, you want to be playing as long as you can. Um, I'm glad it was the last game of the season. I think we all are because we had as many games as you could possibly have uh, with each other in your last year. So um, it was just a way for us to make even more memories together, um, accomplish more together. Um, I, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I think they both would say we couldn't have scripted this year any better. Obviously, we would have won, but um, just, I don't know, just in our final year, like making it to the national championship game. That's pretty important. It seemed like the last, whatever, 36 hours was crazy for you. And um, What was that like? Just seemed kind of opened your heart a little bit yesterday. And how did you kind of deal with it all? Yeah. Um, it's been kind of freeing in a way just because I have it on social media. Like, I haven't been able to see the good or the bad. Um, and like my family knows that I believe that they don't tell me anything. But like when I saw it, it was just kind of like we're just 20, 19, 22 year olds just trying to play the sport that we love. Like it just sucks that it starts getting into other things that aren't even related to basketball. Like we're talking about, I don't know, just things that shouldn't be talked about <laughs> um, just in regards to a play in a basketball game. But yeah, it's been fine. Like I haven't really seen anything. Um, after that one night, but yeah. Yeah, you obviously didn't finish your time at Iowa the way you wanted to. But like you said, you were part of two teams that made, teams that made history. Um, I guess looking back, what were you kind of remember most about the time as a Hawkeye? Yeah, I think for sure, just like the people and the memories we made, and just you know, being able to go on two foreign trips, two foreign trips. Yeah, I we did the Kinnick game, like. All these things, selling out car every night, like having college game day come to the Iowa City, like all these things that we got to be a part of at the University of Iowa together. I will never forget those moments. Um, and just the people that I've met here, uh, what happened in my life. You guys 